Hi everyone. Today I thought I'd do a video on our favorite desserts that we like to do when it's just our family or whether we're having guests. Um, today we were going to be doing um, family card night so we thought I would do a um, angel food cake. So I made the food cake, just did the Betty Crocker angel food cake, followed all the directions, baked it, while that was baking, I did the sheriff's lemon pie filling and then let that cool. So everything's already cooled. Okay, so what I do is I cut the cake in half. Okay, like that. And I have the lemon pie filling that I had and it's completely cooled. So. And then all I do is we fill this. Just grab another spoon here. There's usually always a little extra lemon pie filling. Okay. Put that aside. And then we just put the other half on there. A little extra hanging out. And then all I did was I whipped up, um, I whipped up some whipping cream and then we are just gonna decorate this like you would a normal angel food cake and this will definitely be enough this i've made many many times my family loves the lemon in the center So usually when I first go around, it does not look very pretty. And then after I make sure that the majority of everything is covered, then I'll go around and kind of try to make it look a little bit nicer, but it doesn't have to be perfect. Like I said, not perfect, but not too bad. Then let's cut into this to see how it looks. Good morning, everyone. 
Today I'm going to make an orange dreamsicle salad. Haven't had made some treats for the kids for a little while, so I thought this is a perfect one to make today. You're going to start with um, orange jello. You're going to want to put this in a larger bowl because you have a lot of ingredients to put in here. Okay, and we're going to get one cup of hot water. Okay, we're going to just pour it in and we're going to mix until the crystals are dissolved. Then we are going to add a half a cup of cold water. Just mix that a little and then we're just going to put it in the fridge for 15 minutes. We want it to cool down, but we don't want it to solidify quite yet. Okay, now it's been 15 minutes. So now we are going to put in vanilla pudding, just the packet. And we are just gonna mix this up until there's no lumps. Okay, now we're gonna put it back in the fridge for 15 to 20 minutes till it thickens a little bit. Okay, it's been about 20 minutes. And as you can see, it's, it's just a little thick and that's what you want. So the next step is we're going to add one cup of whipping cream. this together there we go. so now we add in marshmallows it calls for one cup of marshmallows I don't actually measure, so I always end up adding more at the end anyways. I don't think I need this mixer. Use this. Now here's where I change this recipe a little bit. The recipe calls for a 14 ounce can of drained mandarin oranges. Um, I prefer um, peaches instead in here. So what I do is I just, I have a large can of, I'm not gonna use the whole thing, but all I do is I will take them and I will just chop them into kind of bite-sized pieces. I just find that um, the mandarins are a little more kind of, I don't know, sour is quite the right taste and the peaches are super sweet. So that just, um, I don't know, my whole family really enjoys this. So I'm going to cut probably about half of this large can, which will end up being about 14 ounces. You do not want the liquid. But the other thing I love to do, and this is not in the recipe either, I like to get a can of crushed pineapple. I'm gonna remove the liquid. I'm gonna save it because I actually have a recipe for tomorrow night's dinner that I'm gonna need this juice for. Oops. 
And I'm probably going to add about half the can in there. You basically can change it to whatever you and your family prefer. I always like to try recipes the way that the recipe calls for, and then I like to change it up a little bit. So I think I'm just going to... And then, of course, if I find it needs a little bit of anything else, I will add that in. That's roughly half the can. And this is a 19 ounce can. So then I'm going to just finish mixing this up and then I'll come back. Okay, so I finished cutting up all the peaches. Let's just mix this in to see. I like my salad to be nice and full, so I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna add in a little bit more marshmallows. It smells so wonderful. Okay, doesn't that look wonderful? Okay, I'm going to give this a little taste test. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. It is so good. It tastes just like those ice cream cream sickles with the orange around them. The pineapple in here gives it such such a good like it just increases the flavor of this. I think I might add a few more slices of peaches in there and maybe one more spoonful of of um, pineapple just because we like basically you know when you take one bite you want a bit of everything in there plus there's five of us so the more I put in kind of the more it'll stretch for us so um yeah if you give this a try let me know in the comments see how you like it another recipe that I am going to make this week is some um cheesecake this is the best cheesecake and the only cheesecake I will ever make but um, I thought the reason I thought I would make this is because I had some condensed milk that um, just went past its date and cream cheese that needed to get used up from before Christmas. And then I had a graham cracker um, crust that I've had for about four months. So this needs to get used up. So with all of those, I thought this would be a wonderful recipe. So I used one of the packages of Kirkland cream cheese. So I left that out for a little while to soften a little bit. So that's in here. We're gonna use a whole can of condensed milk. Now my condensed milk is a little, um, a little darker than it usually is, but it's still gonna come out yummy. So. Then you need one third cup of lemon juice. Oh, I think I had that slightly open. I made a mess. And we need a little bit of vanilla. And if you are a person that likes to measure, it's roughly a teaspoon. And then we are just going to mix this up. Okay, let that drip off. Then we're just gonna open up the pie crust or the graham cracker crust. Now we're just going to 
pour this into here. Okay, we're just gonna smooth this out. Put the lid on and it goes into the fridge. Okay, and it's as simple as that. And um, then you can pour some uh, cherry pie filling on top if you like. When I do that, I always do that just before we're about to eat it. Um, yeah, or sometimes I'll just leave it in the can. I'll put the, the cherry in the fridge because I have um, one friend who doesn't like anything on it at all. So I'll just put the can in there and then kind of leave it out and never, anyone who wants it can put it on. 